Okay, a little fair warning on this one. When you get it, um, you're gonna have to cut the box open to get it out. Uh, the way they packed it, they've strapped everything to the frame inside the box. So, unless you're a strong person and a very talented one with six arms, you're not getting it out of the box without cutting the box. So, just giving you a little heads up there. And as you can see, it is all attached. So, looks like this bike is a foldable bike, and uh, so you can just pop the pop it up here and foldable down, so you can store it pretty easy. It looks like you know. Uh, we're about to put the rest of it together here. See what we got. Uh, so far, the only thing I can see that. Uh, not a big fan of yet but and that is the uh, uh, fact that it's pretty low to the ground but it is foldable the frame folds in the center I'll show you this here so if you look down here you can see where uh, you can release this basically fold this thing up and stick it in your trunk pretty easily um, so it looks like this is what it's designed for uh, They when they reached out to us We just seen it was a two-wheel bike. We really wanted a two-wheel bike for around here and uh, You know something with a, a kind of a heavy-duty luggage rack and uh, you know Something that we can kind of you know because the trikes riding down a main highway out here is not very safe So this one would get us back and forth to the store or uh, shorted to school if she needed to and uh so we'll see how it goes. Let me put the rest of it together. I'm not a big fan of this being real low to the ground, so that doesn't give you much clearance to the ground right there. And that's only a, only that far off the ground. Uh, but let's get the rest of it together and see what we got, and we'll bring it back and let you know. So in your, uh, in your little accessory kit here, they show you, I actually send you a whole brand new set of uh, really long Allen wrenches. Um, we got a little mini air pump. Uh, I'm sure you could probably strap this onto something somewhere. Um, comes with a 15 millimeter wrench, a real wrench. <laughs> well, at least they didn't they didn't skimp out on that one. A lot of the other e-bikes that we've put together so far have come with these little thin wrenches, you know, that ain't worth a darn. Um, but this one, like I said, air pump. We got uh, wrench, Allen wrenches, and here's our pedals. So we're gonna mm. see what all they got set up here, and, and we'll what bring else? you back. In. Oh, what else? You even get fancy stickers to go with it. <laughs> What's that? So I don't know where we're gonna put them, but because they've already got it all marked out. But who knows? You know, maybe we'll just advertise it. Nice. And then uh, we gotta see what's in this package. Oh, it feels big. It feels bulky. Oh, it's a seat. Well, the seat seems to be uh, pretty cushiony, pretty soft. I'm sure that'll sit like that. I ain't gonna set up there just yet, but. 
uh, overall so far I like it let me uh, let me get this thing together see what's in this box here first in the small box. Oh, this is the charger. Okay. So it's just a big three pin charger. Um, the little converter box. Um, you can look here at the manual, but I can't tell. Looks like this battery does come out. So you can just pick the battery up like so. Oh, maybe. Oh, I think, yeah. Just like the other one, uh, you have to unlock it with a key. And then you can take the battery out and you can charge it that way. So I like that. Um, pretty heavy duty frame on the back here and, and little rack. <coughs> this looks like it has some, uh, some slots back here for accessories of some type. Uh, I'm not sure. They said it didn't come with any accessories, but or, or they didn't have any accessories, so I don't know, but that's all slotted back there for something. And I don't see anything else in this box to go with it, so who knows? Got a nice disc brake setup back here. Got a kickstand. Okay. So she does come with a kickstand. Well, we're about to see how it goes. We're gonna set this front wheel up on, or the steering wheel up on here and go to town. so you got to take the light off and uh, you can't just spin it around this one you actually have to take all the way off uh, they did have it mounted on there take it all completely off and then just re-thread re it back in there now so far this assembly is only taking us about about 10 or 15 minutes so far uh, pretty simple to, to put together Overall, I'm, I'm liking that part. Uh, everything seems to be pretty straightforward. Um, I thought there would be a front basket with it because it's got the mount for front basket with it. So I guess they decided not to uh, send us any of that stuff. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but. It is what it is, I guess, huh? So, Personally, I don't know why anybody would want a want an electric bike without the accessories, you know, or in this case, at least a front basket or some type of back basket, you know, where you can uh, you can carry your books or or stuff like that for school, or if you're riding it to work, you can carry your stuff to work. No, not everybody totes around a backpack all the time. 
I know I don't. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so, yep, that's the right one. So that's this side here. <coughs> and usually pedals are one side is right-handed thread and one side is left-handed thread. like in this case one side left-handed thread one side right-handed thread so you can't really mess that part up and you see they thread in pretty easily quick and yes it's just easier to take the whole thing right out of there to get the seat go on This here, you just stick down inside there. Well, <laughs> I say you just stick it down inside there. Usually these come off pretty easily, but this one's not wanting to cooperate. Could be just me this morning though. Usually you can just stick them down inside like, like that and grab a hold of it and spin it, but my fingers are not wanting to cooperate this morning, y'all. Yeah, just like that. So, told you, it was just my fingers. Look what I just noticed about this bike, y'all. This is crazy. Foldable pedals. Look at this. Foldable pedals. Just flips out like that. Huh. Pretty snazzy. What does he do with it? I knew I had the big one. So you need the big one for this. So we'll just snug it up. That's where you can set it down in there and figure out where you gotta be. Oh look, it's even got a fancy little uh, measuring seat on it. <laughs> a measuring thing on it. So. You can see how 
Uh, for 10 foot tall people, I guess. I don't know. I can't read it. <laughs> and it's got a little adjustment on it so you can see how tight you want it or whatever. Get in there. Broke my leggings and baby. Howdy, howdy, y'all. Well, Crazy Bird reached out to us, and, uh, and uh, we wanted to give you our full opinion on this bike. Now, we have run this bike, like, we live out here, you know, kind of in the sticks. Lots of mud, dirt roads, and I gotta tell you, this bike has, uh, has stood up to its name. It's definitely a Crazy Bird. Uh, we enjoy it. It's a, it's a nice bike. They sent us a, a nice heavy duty. This is a very sturdy front rack, which we enjoy. Now we still have a place to put the cup holder uh, if we decide to do that, which we'll probably end up having to do um, for shorty. And then they actually have a back rack that you can get for it in saddlebags, but I'm going to build one for this uh, in this case. So this is a foldable bike and uh, we like it. Thank you Crazy Bird for reaching out to us and we appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Well, good morning, good morning. Well, here's what we got for today. So we got little Miss Talker Audie this morning. And, uh, you know, since we've been letting him out in the yard, she's been jumping this little gate we got, right, that we kind of threw together here with some stuff we had laying around. True junk to gem style. You know what I mean? So uh, we're going to fix this because we found this other stuff that we had back here that was inside the barn, and we're going to use it for a gate. And uh, so we just got a little bit of hardware for it that, uh, you know, um, we're gonna make this happen. So this will be tall enough. I don't think she can jump this one So we're gonna hook this one up today and Again true junk to gem style. We're gonna use some junk turn it into a gem. So we'll bring you along for the ride Need my help? Yeah, hold that. Okay.
little trick for eye bolts. Get you a little starter hole, take a little drill and just kind of wallow the hole out. And you stick them in there and you take it just a wrench like this, stick it on one side and uh, works pretty good for putting eye bolts in. Make your life a whole lot easier. If you ain't got a, a pipe or a you know screwdriver, long screwdriver hanging around, a little wrench like this works perfect. So what we're having to do is because this gate is so old, it's sagging on the hinges right now and hitting the ground. So we're gonna put a cable assist system on it. And you can buy this all these parts for this cable assist system for that I'm building here for like 10 bucks 15 bucks with cable Super easy to install. Run your cable through like that. Put your two pieces in there. Both ends of the cable through there. You can do it the hard way if you want to and you know put the cable in there. Take this all apart, I mean, you know, and then put it in there, but that's usually not worth the trouble trying to take that apart. Oh, that wrench too big. What is this called again? This is called a basically it's just a, a cable loaded uh, uh, tensioner. Okay. Or, or I guess you'd call it a tensioner. They got a name for it and I can't think of it right this second. Basically, just helps take the weight off the hinges. Okay. Whenever you got a real long gate like this, this will help take the weight off the hinges. Makes it a little easier to open and close it. Yep.
Okay. It looks good. Go ahead. Awesome. Can it go all the way? Huh? Can it go, like go all the way? It'll open up quite a ways, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it, how far it's going to open all the way. Hand me a couple of screws or so. About six or seven. That'll work. Stronger. Yep. Well, there was no, I only put one screw. Mm. Right. On the back. Okay. I see. Push it a little bit like this to yeah. need a little more room to get it in and out. Other than that, it doesn't awesome. stay like that. Yeah. So we'll rake that back right there so we can open it a little further. But for now, that looks. My goofball can't jump over it. And I know she can't get underneath that. Yeah. Oh, well, looks good. So now I just got to figure out a latch system for it. Okay. Other than that. We got a gate that's working. Yeah. Like I said, I'll figure out a little latch system for it so it'll hook hook right there and probably just a little rope or something to hang around over there. Yeah. And uh, that keeps her from jumping it. 